You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. <sighs> yeah, better go see Siri. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course.
says she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her? I've been saying it from the start, Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Tell you about breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out.
Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me. Lambert with Eskel. Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. <laughs> 